All right. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my talk. Um, we'll be talking today about Emacs journalism and what that means. Um, first of all, I'd like to thank the Emacs Conf organizers. Thank you very much, Sasha, for being very patient with me. Um, let's get right, in this, right into it. So who's this talk for? First of all, um, it's for anyone who wants to learn about workflows and how you can work with Emacs to basically do anything you want. Um, and it's for all levels of Emacs lovers, so I'll, I'll keep it accessible. Um, why this talk? So first of all, I want to share the love of Emacs. Um, I also wanted to learn about workflows myself, so what better way than to talk about them to be able to learn. Um, and we could maybe learn a thing or two about collaboration and uh, using Emacs to that motive. Um, so I think it's useful to try and figure out who who am I? Why why am I having this talk? Um, so I'm a journalist based in Hong Kong and a documentary filmmaker. So that means that I have interviews quite often. Uh, so I'm dealing with text and subtitles, uh, which I have to tr transcribe. Um, I'm also dealing with a lot of research. Um, so that means going through a lot of documents and a lot of um, a lot of um, well skimming through documents to be able to have something to write. And I also use Emacs since basically one year ago, I started using it full time to the great detriment of my productivity. Um, so we'll be talking about, oops, we'll be talking about, um, well, basically my workflow for Emacs and how I went about um, having an Emacs workflow. So what is best when you're thinking about your own workflow and some things to think about about journalism and about um, using these kinds of tools um, in combination for this. So where do we all start? Let's let's start with a, a simple-ish definition of what is a workflow. Uh, so a workflow is any sequence of actions or tools you use to accomplish that. So it doesn't have to be. Oops. It doesn't have to be through text processing, uh, though obviously being a text-oriented community, it will most likely be partially text. Um, but it, it's just about how we accomplish a task and which tools and mindsets we go into it with. Um, for example, let's let's talk about my old workflow. So um, that, that workflow was basically just Google Drive using proprietary tools like Notion, Google Drive, Office, Storyboarder, and for communication, WeChat. And so if I could forgive all the privacy concerns of WeChat, I wouldn't. Um, but I still wouldn't forgive the terribly buggy interface and oh, I hate it. So there are certain tools that you have to use and you have to modify your workflow or just adapt your workflow to the tools that you have to use. Um, so for me, unfortunately, that means having to use WeChat. Um, you compartmentalize it and set it aside. Try not to try not to think about it too hard. And this is the part that hurts the most, right? You're you're thinking about your workflow. You're thinking about, all right, I, I have this thing that works. I don't think about it. And all of a sudden, oh, um, I'm not happy with what I have right now. So let's get into <laughs> let's get into how. <laughs> Oops. Ah. So let's get into how and why we're not happy with our workflows. Because obviously, it's quite nice to not have to think about things. Um, but once you've thought about it, and once you're not happy with how it works, um, I think it's quite useful to think about why we're not happy about it. And so a huge part of what Emacs is, is being conscious of, well, how do we find our workflows? How do we find what we want to do? Um, and for me, obviously, the best way to find that is to write it down and to try and tailor my tools to it. Um, so this is what I came up with. So I want to be able to manage my counting, to manage collaboration, so working on files alongside my colleagues, communication, so that's um, planning out and managing meetings, managing teammates, managing uh, tasks, uh, information gathering, so that's what I was saying, going through documents, going through all these lists of tasks and all of these, um, well, not, not lists of tasks, all of these, um, well, basically scientific papers, notes, 
um, references and wikis. Um, media, so I, I want to be able to have a music player, podcast player, movie player. Um, that's outside of work, but it's still one of the tasks that I do. <laughs> media processing, so this is where my job kind of gets into it a bit more. So I want to be able to take notes on the media that I watch, uh, to transcribe the interviews and even the conversations that I have uh, to be able to well, later on have um, an easier time. Uh, photo editing, video editing, so <laughs> unfortunately uh, Emacs isn't quite, <laughs> quite uh, oriented to that. Um, graphic design, color grading, storyboarding. And so obviously you go, you go into it a bit more. So managing to do, scheduling tasks, interviews, uh, preparing shot lists, tracking time, setting daily work goals, setting priorities, independent tasks, uh, publishing. So publishing stuff for my work on my work CMS, publishing st stuff on my personal CMS, although that's not happened yet. Um, I've been kind of busy. Security and privacy, so making sure that everything that I use respects my data um, and respects me. Unfortunately, not the case, um, but you take what you can. And text processing, so that's journaling, journaling writing down articles, my personal wiki, um, my work wiki, which I use to document, well, for example, um, for example, several projects that I have currently. Oops, so I, I basically have my work wiki that I'm trying to fill out where I'll be able to basically go into it later on and have my thoughts written down. Oops. And programming, which I'm not very good at. And some people might have noticed that uh, this looks a lot like literate programming. And so, <laughs> Oops. So if you, oops, no, that's not the right one. If you go into, oops. Ah. Into my config file, I have something kind of similar. I was planning on having a bit more time for this um, presentation and making it stick to that. But uh, you'll see basically the mess that is my Emacs config. Um, but it kind of sticks to the same thoughts, right? Text processing, web browsing, uh, finances, so that's my accounting, media and research, um, so my, my bib text, here be dragons, terrible, terrible config that I've stolen from plenty of people. And so basically that's, that's um, how Emacs fits into this. And so this is where I talk about literate configs and how, how that's helped me. Um, obviously, I've extolled the virtue of literate configs uh, to quite an extent right here. Um, it's basically, the concept is to have documents, living documents and do well documentation as code. Um, so basically, oops, let's go back into my config. I talk about what the config file does, have code blocks, so this is something that Emacs does. I'm pretty sure that there are some resources about that um, accessible online, which or even accessible in the Emacs Gulf. Um, and so, yeah, basically just having everything accessible in one single, one single source, uh, one single file, which allows you to basically put everything down and um, integrate things from your config much, much more easily. And so that's, that's something that I found very useful in Emacs and, uh, which I think everyone can benefit from or the idea of it, like having everything stored centrally. Um, it doesn't have to be used just for Emacs. So it can be used also, oops, it can be used also for, for example, Qt browser or for other, um, window manager configs, that kind of thing. Um, it's not been very easy to set in place, so I, I haven't done that just yet, but that's the plan. And so basically, um, this is all thanks to org mode. So a small presentation of what org mode is. Org mode is basically a project slash tax, ta text management, ta task management, and text management um, and writing mode for Emacs. So I can just 
put in a heading, put in to do, hello world, um, send a message to Rosie tomorrow about the shoot. Space MDS, that's thanks to wonderful Doobie Max. Um, schedule it to, uh, I don't know, it's, it's tomorrow, let's go. Um, set it to 9 a.m. Uh, and say maybe I, it's it's tomorrow already. I've done it. I've sent a message. Perfect. It's done. And it also allows you to have an agenda view. So I hope there's nothing too compromising right here. Whatever. It's fine. Um, and so it allows you to basically manage your agenda from there. Oops. Uh, and you might have seen me doing my little space NRF, um, wonderful key binding by Orgrom. Um, so this is also another thing which is quite quite nice with Emacs is that you can um, you can have Orgrom, uh, which is basically a database management program. So I can have uh, documentary ideas and have basically. Um, my ideas which link up to another file so for example this one which i have nothing for <laughs> but you get the idea so it allows you to apps to link up with different files and to manage your thoughts um, and this gets back into the workflow part of my talk which is well this this is a way to control what your workflow is Con control what the tools you're using are and to control basically the way in which you interact with your technology. And so I, I um getting back into the way that I collaborate, um, because obviously it's it's no good having just one one um one Emacs user uh, who's trying to share <laughs> to share things with his editor. Um so I use Pandoc. Uh for example, let's let's go back into my uh My file right here. So obviously I don't spend much time inside of tables, but uh, if I select this one, oops, space M E. Thank you, Doomy Max, for the for the um, key bindings, and I can just export it via Pandoc right here. So P, and I can just export it to doc docx or. or export it to ODT, so as an ODT file, um, which is typically what I do. Um, and then I just send it through WeChat, which is not optimal, but I'm not allowed to do anything else. So <laughs> it is what it is. Um, so basically, this this is um, how I export my, my uh, files, and I re-import I re -import them with Pandoc as well. So I, I convert my... Um, pages files which I receive through an ICS plugin. Uh, it's not quite finalized, so I, I'm not ready to show it, but there's, um, there's a link that I'll be putting in the description um, which talks about this. And so this is my sharing part. Um, it's nothing very special, honestly. It's just making sure that your documents are able to be shared. Um, I have certain things, so for example, if I go into retro gaming in Hong Kong. Um, if I go into my scripts, there are certain headings which I have. So for example, they ignore. Uh, my editor doesn't like to have subheadings. Um, but when I, when I have a video script that I'm preparing, I like to have them for my own organization and for my like thinking. So I keep them in right there and put in ignore. This is the advantage of Emacs because you can just space me. Oh, oh. And this is ready to send, basically. Um, there, there are ways to have export presets, um, but I'm not quite there yet. It's a lot of work. <laughs> um, so getting back to my presentation, um, this all goes into basically um, other packages which I want to implement, but I haven't been able to. So my, my, my main conclusion of um, you don't have to get lost in the weeds. I kind of did that while in preparing this con this um, this talk. Um, so basically, you don't have to do it all at once. Don't let it consume your life. Yep. 
Um, I probably should have done this earlier. Um, but Emacs configs are forever a work in progress. So there are lots of features which you can add, a lot of things which you can implement if you only had, I don't know, five, five weeks to be able to implement them. But you're working right now. And this is a message to me five months ago. Don't, don't do it. Just keep working and, um, don't get lost in configuration all day. Um, so yeah, basically the, the aim is to use software that you love, but not die in the process um, and yeah basically just using it as much as you can using fast software as much as you can i'm doing that as well where i i have um certain software such as storyboarder or um or uh bibtex that kind of thing which i i try to use as much as possible even outside of emacs um and the, the aim is to is to get the work done in the end um i'm not a absolutist on this. So yeah, basically, um, let's keep modding our configs and having fun. Uh, if you've got any questions about the talk, um, I'm happy to answer. I am a novice at this, um, at both presenting in front of camera and at talking about Emacs. And so I'm sure I've gotten a few things wrong and it's not been the smoothest talk, but it's 10 p.m. almost and I <laughs> need to get back home. Um, yeah. Take care, everyone. Uh, thanks again to the organizers. Here's my contact info. Oops. Um, and I'll be in touch with the questions. I don't think I'll be able to do the live answers, but that's more or less it. Thanks so much for listening, if, uh, if you've been listening, and uh, take care.